Happy New Year's Eve. It's Thursday, the 31st of December, and for my breakfast this morning, I've got my healthy extra B, which is two slices of the Morrison's wholemeal ble- bled, bread with butter, and I'm going to say four cents for the butter, and a coffee using some of my healthy extra A milk. Dinner today is 0% fat Greek yogurt that I flavoured with toffee syrup for half a sin, and defrosted strawberries and blueberries. For our buffet tonight, we have got a selection of some cheeses, but obviously because I've got vegetarians in the house, I needed to make sure that some of them had meat and some of them didn't and that they weren't near each other. Also, Jeff's tradition in the Philippines is to have lots of round fruit and they need to be on the table by midnight. So we made sure we've got those. They represent coins. And then there's spaghetti also, which means long life. So I know the rest of it's fairly beige, but it's lovely New Year's Eve food. And this was my plate of food, so I had some barbecue, which is going to be free. The spaghetti is probably going to be fairly low in sins because it's got hot dogs in it, but the rest of it is all free. And then mushrooms for speed and carrots and tomatoes. Now, there's not a lot of point in me trying to add this up. It's obviously got lots of cheese and crackers. I have got some tomatoes and carrots on there for speed, but I've got the Aldi Roulet cheeses, a little selection of those, some Wednesday day with cranberry, which is one of my favourite cheeses, and the crackers, some cold meats as well. And my poor dog had a little slip over on the deck in earlier, but she's fine. So I'm ending today on Unknown Sins, and I know that I'm not going to be the only person in that boat today. There's going to be people everywhere doing the same as me. I mean, if you have stuck to plan rigidly, hats off to you. I really, I hadn't planned on it, so I didn't want to today either. I knew that I was going to be going over and that's fine I haven't done a lot of going over since excuse me I've got hiccups all over Christmas and New Year's Eve I knew I was going to have a cheese board because that is my absolute favourite thing in the world she says but then there's lots of other things that are my favourite things too but I would kind of planned for it today so I didn't overdo things through the day what I, I did do my tea was kind of on plan because we did the buffet and then I was picking at things as it was going on the table. So I was picking at the onion rings and picking at the corn nuggets. And it was a very beige buffet. You'll see that. You'll have seen that anyway. Um, it, oh, I did try and do some tomatoes and carrot sticks and things. But you know what it's like when you do online shopping, um, which I never, ever do. I always go to the shops. Then it's really difficult to try and remember, even though in my head I knew what I wanted and I'm trying to make lists of things but I didn't get everything I needed so there's no salad it was just like some tomatoes some carrot sticks little token things but it was a very beige buffet although we did have um other bits as well because in the Philippines like I, as I said before we like to have um lots of different fruits on the table because each round fruit represents um coins and then also spaghetti which means a long life so that was on the table as well. And I think that was it. Oh, and the barbecue. So the barbecue wasn't actually barbecue, it was just grilled, but it was barbecue, um, which is what they would have in Philippines as well. So that was all like chicken, pork. That would have been free because the marinade was just um, oyster sauce and some lemonade, things like that. So, well, sugar-free, diet lemonade. So that would have all been free. And other things were fairly low in sins, except for the cheese. And, <clears throat> excuse me, we didn't have the cheese straight after. We didn't bring that up until about nine o'clock. I just popped that into the shed because it's cold and I had no room in my fridge. So we popped that into the shed and then brought that out about nine o'clock, which is when we had that. And I didn't know whether to upload a video today because lots of people are going to be celebrating with their families. And obviously that's what we are doing as well, even though... Nobody feels much like celebrating. In fact, they're downstairs at the moment. I'll see if I can get a clip of it. Playing chess at the table. They've moved all the buffet stuff to the side and they're playing chess. Now, I think I'm the only one in the house that doesn't know how to play chess. All the children do and Jeff does. And they're having a little competition, but that's fine. We can't go anywhere. We can't do anything. Nobody is in the mood for drinking, so it's a chess game. <laughs> it is. There we are. I think Jeff's had a bit of a... A little tipple he's had some whiskey because apparently it's good for your chest so he's had some of that what else has happened nothing else has really happened today i don't think everyone's feeling not too bad um i did sleep for about three and a half hours mind um 
and that's in the middle and I'm not I don't sleep in the day at all I never do um but I was really feeling we'd been up through the night and then I was feeling like I needed a little nap nobody woke me half past two I woke up I think I went to bed about 11 so there we are obviously I needed it there we are. I hope you're having an absolutely lovely time, whatever you're doing, and have a, an amazing 2021. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.